Hello, God's peace be yours today on this uh, first day of Lent, uh, the first day of our Bible reading challenge, our 40 days of Lent series. I'm glad you've chosen to, to join me on this reading program this Lent season. Uh, I hope you've found maybe a group to meet with or someone to do this with just for the encouragement and support and uh, accountability that we can offer each other and also someone just to talk about this to process it with. If you haven't found a group yet, uh, there's still time to find a group. We've got some that we're publishing in the uh, Chapel Chatter and Good News email. Look for those and find a group that you can uh, join in. Today's reading was from John chapter 11, verses 45 to 57, and it's not actually in uh, Holy Week itself. It happens uh, just before Holy Week, but I chose it because it sort of sets up the drama for the week. It sort of gets things moving, and it lets us know... Uh, where the Jewish leaders are. They're afraid of Jesus. They're uh, afraid of what might happen if he continues to draw the kinds of crowds that he's been drawing. They're afraid, frankly, what the Romans might do. They're afraid of how the Romans um, might step in to squash what they see as a rebellion uh, and make life difficult for the whole Jewish nation. So in order to avoid that, they come up with a plan. They're going to get rid of Jesus. They're going to legally work things out so that he can be executed. And if he's dead, his disciples disperse, the movement dies along with him, and things go back and are peaceful again. And what's interest, most interesting to me is what Caiaphas says, the high priest. Reading from my New International Version, uh, Caiaphas says, You know nothing at all. You do not realize that it is better for you that one man die for the people than that the whole nation perish. I find it kind of interesting, ironic maybe, that Caiaphas's plan is exactly the same plan that God has. In God's plan, it's also better that one man die than the whole world perish. That one man, Jesus, will take everyone's sins and will, will suffer that punishment, will, will take death in our place so that we can live. It's exactly what he has in mind. Caiaphas has something much different in mind, but it ends up the same way. Caiaphas's words are very true in a way that he doesn't realize. It makes me wonder how often our plans and God's plans intersect like that, how uh, we might not be trying to follow God's plan. In fact, sometimes uh, our worst intentions maybe we think are working against his plans, and yet God works things out the way they need to be. Despite our mistakes, despite our intentions, despite even just the basic difficulties of life, it actually reflects something greater that God is working out. We might not see it, and we might not see it until far down the line, but God's plan works out. We're going to keep reading. Join me as we read through uh, uh, the rest of this story over the, the next few days, and we'll see how both Caiaphas's and God's plans work out. See you tomorrow.